that always makes me think is this something this is has to be related to um the eclipses that's coming up something like that when i get two signs especially one after the other that has the same card and same placement because all the other energies are not the same they're totally different um i mean they got the six of swords too but that was somewhere else but um i did shuffle them really well so and it's come up in exactly the same spot so let's have a look um coming don't worry i'll clarify that i clarified it for them too these readings are going to be so long um underlying energy we have the two of wands coming up so there's a crossroads you're at a crossroads pisces um this to me is where you have to pick a new path but it's not just a choice i mean for me the two of swords is more of a choice that's the one where you know we have to logically think it out we have to look at the details look at what's there think it through this yeah we have to pick a path but more than that more than that this says to me that um it's about the action now you might pick a path but you have to actually walk down it so if you have a look at this there's always like two wands this, this person's holding two wands right well there's two wands that are there but this one is bracketed to the wall that's how it's standing she has not taken it she's rejected that one instead she's holding this one she's holding on to this and she's looking into that always oh, that little globe to see where she's going to go you know where is she going to go what is she going to do that's the idea and for me the wands they're almost like a walking stick right you see the page of wands traveling around with it the the knight of wands has it raised above his head that's to me traveling movement it's fire energy it's very fast energy so february is going to call for you to make a decision a choice and a crossroads that you're at whatever you've been doing you're no longer going to do it you're just no longer going to do it it doesn't have the finality or um you know like the world the world is the completion of one stage but usually that's more fated this is your choice it feels like you're going a new path you're going in a new direction there's a choice the decision here now do not listen to other people no matter what they're saying to you i've got the five of wands coming up here for you um and i just got that immediately as soon as i saw it this could be other people getting involved in your situation this could be friends or family you know telling you that you know no no this is what you should do this is what you shouldn't do putting in their um 10 pence worth or 10 cents worth wherever you are um i five of pen, uh, sorry five of wands it can be where there there is disagreement there are petty squabbles just or people getting involved in our business and we have to like say look you know it's okay i've got this um the other thing that the five of wands represents for me sometimes is competition competition um like you're competing with other people for something um that might be that might be what the question marks over like you know do i go down this path where it's going to involve me competing with other people maybe to do with a business maybe to do with work right you're going to go for that promotion but you're going to have to compete for it so that might be the decision for some ones can be like new projects or creative ventures that we have if it's a relationship this may be a decision that needs to be made about your love life or about a relationship and this is other you know maybe you're considering what other people what other people's needs and wants as well you are Pisces after all or you know you um this is just other people giving you unsolicited advice and trust me as an Aquarius son there is nothing I despise more than unsolicited advice although as an Aquarius son I'm also guilty of giving unsolicited advice so <laughs> I'm a bit of a hypocrite there now let's go on to the future so we have the six of swords coming up here as a past energy or you know at the foundation of your reading six of swords this is interesting here it feels like okay so let's go back to this for a moment so if this is you know you've gone down a path you've gone down a path and that path now no longer exists like you have to go a different way there has to be a different path that you have to follow that that path has ended and it feels like that is this this is that path you've been on a journey whether it's an internal journey whether it's an actual trip that you took you've been on some kind of journey you've moved away from difficult times you've done all of this stuff some of you if this is a relationship for you guys it may be time to make a decision about that long distance relationship and this is where uh, see that's the thing this chaos and i always call fives the agents of chaos because they bring in change this might be now other people kind of whispering things saying things to you saying oh look you know you shouldn't do that or you don't know like putting doubts in your head or something so this could be that this could be just taking a trip you've taken a trip or you know maybe you went away on holiday or vacation and that kind of cleared your mind and made you think you know what i need a change in my life i need to do something differently 
I can't be doing this. Maybe work's been so chaotic, you can't handle that anymore. Like, you know, it's just like, I don't want this. Maybe you want something simpler. Maybe you, whatever it is that you want that's different. So this, the top row, which is like, you know, the underlying, this kind of whatever this argument represents for you, the, the the heart of the reading and now the foundation they're all minor arcana this is your free will this is you figuring out what to do and you've done it you've taken you've moved away from a difficult situation um this there is a low level of grief and i say low level some people might look at that and think hey do you know where pisces <laughs> emotional sign it's low level of grief as in you know it's not as intense even when you look back at it no matter what happened you've gotten to a place where it doesn't hurt as much like you know you're able to move forward you're able to see the lessons that you've learned from it that's important because then we get to the bottom row and these are all major arcana major arcana energy all across the board so it's like really light i wouldn't say it's fluffy but it's light and fluffy compared to that at the bottom let's start off with the present so we have judgment coming up here okay so we've got a lot going through aquarius at the moment that is your that is your 12th house that is your 12th house pisces so there may be some fears coming up now there may be I was fine with Pisces season um, coming up and obviously like we're still in Aquarius season at the moment. But when Pisces season hits, I always find it's a very reflective time. It's a time when more than I think December for me, because I don't really follow um, the calendar year. It's more for me, the astrological energies that I go by. Um, that's when we look back and think, what did I do this year? What happened this year? What does that mean? That's that whole Pisces thing, like seeing beyond the experience of what we had. Um and so this, for me, the judgment card coming up is the card for Pluto. And it's interesting on this deck because this looks like an avenging angel almost. Not usually, usually we have a, a lovely angel playing a, blowing its trumpet or horn thing. Trumpet? I don't know. Um, here you see this kind of, and they're almost cowering away. Um, so it can be frightening. Like you look back over the year, um, looking back over the cycle that you've just been on don't forget this is the card that comes up before um before the world which is the last card of the major arcana so we've got this sense of a review now this happens in a lot of different stages judgment happens in different stages um the first is doing that review looking back thinking what's going on here the second is understanding it forgiving when we need to forgive and you know that's one of those things that people do not like to do it's the f word right you know why should i forgive that person did this to me that to me you guys could fill my comments and say like you know um no I and mean, people do usually whenever this card comes up and i talk about forgiveness they're like no i can never forgive this person and i feel very sad when i read those comments because you're not it's not about the other person it's not about what they did no matter how atrocious that thing was that they did to you you don't forgive them for that for them it's not for them it's for you because while you cannot forgive them, you are tied to that. They are doing that to you again and again and again, every day, every time you think of it. They might be off, trotted off into the sunset doing whatever they're doing, but they still have the power to hurt you because you can't forgive them. And I understand forgiveness doesn't happen overnight. And even more um, importantly, when this card shows up, the person that we have to forgive sometimes isn't even anyone else. Sometimes it's ourselves. We can be the harshest with ourselves. Why did I do that? Why did I say that? Why did I allow that to happen? How did I allow this person to do this to me? So sometimes the person that we need to forgive is ourselves and understand that, look, it's okay. We did the best that we could in that situation with what we knew. Now, you know, we've learned from it. We won't do that again. We'll take better care of ourselves next time. Now, what happens from that, from all of this comes transformation, comes change, second chances, rebirth. That's the whole energy of um, judgment. It is about rebirth. It is about renewal. Now, all of those things sound great. You know, we say it's the phoenix rising up from the ashes. I love the judgment card. These two, they're my two favourite cards in the tarot. Judgment and the tower. They're my two absolute favourite cards. Um, because, and you know, as much as we say it, it sounds lovely, right? Transformation, change, second chances, renewal. However, that doesn't happen easily. Judgment is when we are down on our knees saying, I cannot take any more. When our back is smashed up against the wall and it's like, I cannot take any more of this. 
that's how we get to that point. And that's when true transformation takes place. So some of you may be going through your dark night of the soul at the moment. Others of you, not so much. You've already gone through it in the past and that's gotten you to the judgment phase. And you're at that point now where you're ready to let go of all of this. You're ready to make that judgment call. That's where you have the two of wands above this. You're ready to decide. You're ready to say, okay, we're going to go in this direction. Look at what I've done. Look at where I've been. This is what needs to go. This is what needs to stay. But this is the path I'm going on. So that could be why those two are coming up there together. So some, I, I get the feeling a lot of you, more of you are on that kind of later part of it that, you know, the later stage of it, especially with the Six of Swords. Because this is the journey. This is the internal work, the literal journey, or closing the distance between two things, two dreams. Like, you know, I always get that sense with this. But whatever happens, for heaven's sake, I have to say again, do not let other people influence you or dis make things uh, decisions for you. This is on you. This is a very personal energy. Only you know what you go through. Other people will not understand it. They cannot understand it. Everyone's, it's what's called dark night of the soul. Because only we know what we're going through. Only we know the pain that we're feeling or, you know, the changes or the transformation that's taking place. The awakening. This could very much be that kind of energy. So... With this, this isn't in the present. And the whole reason we go through this, it's so we can face our future without fear and we can step into the future, which is a very interesting thing to say, especially when we see that the tower is in the future. So like I said, Aquarius got this here. So you might, you might have placements in Aquarius. Um, let's see. When the tower shows up, it's lightning striking the tower and the tower is collapsing. This is you... People don't like the tower and I just said this to Aquarius. It's, I think, when the tarot community, do you remember like in the 80s um, or even the 90s, I guess, you know, the in horror movies, they'd always pull the, the, the death card and it's like someone was going to die. But, you know, we now know that death is not that. Death is transformation. It's changed. So very similar to the judgment card. But... But now I think the tower has become the new death card. People don't like to see it. They're terrified of it. It's like, oh my God, I don't know what the tower striking down on my life. Well, it's a neutral energy. The tower just means something unexpected happens. And it always serves us. It always serves us. Because it's going to reveal what's not working. It's going to remove all of that crap that was not meant to be there. That, you know, it's just not firm. It's not solid. I'm going to pull clarifiers for this, don't worry. But, um that's the most startling part of it we don't like change we don't like change as human beings we don't like change and that's why we can't we don't usually we don't like this kind of energy coming into our life it could be that it's to do with a group of people with the five of wands here or it could be that this startling truth or change or what this is change both of these cards are change this startling change that's coming in here is going to be to do with your internal conflict about this decision that needs to be made about this new path that has to be picked that could very much be the situation all right nice yes you had right i did say nice okay so first of all this is something that you've been worrying about and i think this is actually going to be a godsend and please trust me on that this is when we're stressed out we're worried we're thinking what's going to happen we don't know like it feels like you're bolstering your 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 strength and your energy and your courage to go forward with something you're letting go of the past you're starting something new you're getting this kind of i know the strength card's not here but that's what i'm getting this just feels like that you know clawing your way towards what you want getting rid of everything from the past, going forward, going forward, trying to make choices and decisions and you're picking a new path and you're there. And then it's like, this is that final hurdle. We have to get through this. Something that you're worried about though, you've been getting sleepless nights about it. And what the Nine of Swords says that is, you know, it's being very much stuck in your own head. And no matter what it is that you're worrying about, and of course, I'm not going to say it's not something legitimate. Of course, there's something always triggers this. There's always a basis for this energy. It does say that the the act of like going over and over again and again in your head, like, you know, keeping you up at night. That I actually talked about this at the end of the video that, you know, there's been a lot of people that haven't even been sleeping. Like sleep is, some people just don't even know what sleep is at the moment. I'm wondering if a lot of this energy is like awakening energy for people that they're getting that. But um, you've got this. So you've got, you've got this kind of anxiety or stress, something that you've been worried about. I think that you're going to like this. When this comes in, it's like, finally, finally, you'll have an answer. Finally, there's something shift. Finally, there's a change. And it could be to do with the King of Swords type. Uh, King of Swords can be an air sign, um, which would be Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. 
and like I said, Aquarius did get this in exactly the same place, although they got different clarifiers for this. Um, so very much so that, you know, the King of Swords here, this can be a lawyer, a consultant, an advisor. If it's not an air sign, um, maybe it's you. If this is you or someone that you know, obviously it's a general reading, can play both ways. This is someone who's very logical, very emotionally detached. Um, which I know it doesn't sound like Pisces, but you'd be surprised what Pisces have been going through recently. A very emotionally detached kind of person. They're very logical. They have no problem making decisions or, tr you know, choices. They have immense knowledge and they're very intelligent and very capable of articulating what they want to say. And those ideas very clearly to other people. Now, we then have the Ten of Pentacles coming up. So the Ten of Pentacles, for me, this is like one of those happy ever after cards. I know the Ten of Cups is usually considered that, but for me, the Ten of Pentacles is as well. This is your legacy. This is that long term. What have you been, what is it that you've been working so hard for? What have you been trying to build? This kind of feels, for some of you, let's just say, put it this way. I just get the sense it's something that you've been working towards, fighting towards, you're trying to get towards this. It's because of this fight element. I don't know who you've been fighting, maybe been a group of people or, you know, there's that internal struggle, as I said, there's a struggle here and it's to do with this, this new path that you're, you're fight, you're trying so hard to take this new path. You've come so far to take this new path. And this is like that final, the final kind of energies that you're going through. The rebirth is there, the second chances are almost there. And then the tower comes up. This is revelation for me. I've been seeing with the with the tower energy coming up, especially in Aquarius's reading as well. Like something is revealed, and yeah, we have eclipses. With tomorrow is um, I'm doing this on the thirtieth. Tomorrow is the lunar eclipse, and then we have um, the solar eclipse coming up. <clears throat> so this could be energies around that. Shocking things can happen around eclipses, but this is to do with something long term. Something you've been working towards long term, either a relationship. Um, your legacy, your work, something long term. but And this could be to do with family. Ten of Pentacles to me is a family. It's usually, it depicts a family. Let's see what's on this one. Yeah, you see this old gentleman here crouched down and this would be his descendants, right? You know, um, what he's built for them, all of this stuff that he builds for, for them. So I don't know if it's finally you get with this comes the clarity that something that you've been worried about now you know because the king of swords never does this he never does nine of swords he doesn't need to do that he knows the answer he can communicate it nine of swords there's no communication everything's just going around and around in your head and that leads to this i know i can i have the i am very capable of making the tower sound positive that's because i do like the tower um then we have coming up as the crowning energy or the advice here we have the devil. We have the devil here. I know it's a pretty glorious looking devil. Now, I'm going to say this to you with the devil coming up here. This can be some karmic ties. When the devil shows up, a lot of people don't like to hear this, but it is one of the soulmate cards. It's one of the karmic relationship cards. So if this is a relationship reading for you, there is some tie to someone. There is some connection to someone. Um, it does indicate that. It's kind of strange because for some of you, I'm not saying that person's coming back, so please don't get worried if those of you that don't want anything to do with a toxic ex. But it just feels like that's what the journey's been from, like getting away from this, getting getting away from this situation. Like you've gone so far, you've done so much. And it kind of feels now that with this coming up, this is looking at how much power did that have over me? How much power did that have over me? How much, what's been holding me back? It's a, it's a, that's what it feels like, that you're not looking at that situation. You're looking at what's been holding me back, what's kept me, you know, locked, chained up. Because as far as you've come, as far as you've travelled, there's that little bit further to go. But, you know, that's life. There's always a little bit further to go. There's always a little bit further to go. And this is going to reveal so much. It's going to reveal so much. This is going to be, this is a kind of addiction as well. I'll just say that. And, you know, Pisces probably get, are probably sick of getting told with that brush. But this can be like addictions. So drugs, alcohol, um, you know, wanting to escape, wanting to have, let something like that and in, intoxicant, like uh, to, to, uh, something intoxicate us and have power over us. It can be that. It can be that you're dealing with someone that has addictions. 
or it just can be like it's not even has to be a substance or addiction so much it could be something that holds us back because even a substance even drugs or something they have power over us so that's it's the card for capricorn some of you may be dealing with the capricorn um well who else other signs am i getting some of you may be dealing with the scorpio and aquarius obviously that energy that came up there but I mean, that's the card for pluto so it's not really scorpio but i do see that there um so you might it's what Capricorn deals with. What has power over you? What governs you? What's holding you back? Because it feels like something's been holding you back. And that's why you've gone through this. And this can be revealed to you. Revealed to you. Whoever that person is. Whoever or thing or substance or idea or thought that you had. Or was it a group of people? Is it Have you been trying to please everyone with the five of wands here? Is everyone trying to get their sentence? Because I'm t this is all very personal energy to me. This is all very personal energy. You experience, you experience this. This is happening to me. Let's see what else the Oracle cards come out. Sorry, these are getting so long, especially with all the extra clarifiers. It goes that way. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change someone's life, including your own. Well, this is life changing. I know I don't usually like to do like, I don't like to do too predictive stuff because I do believe in co-creating free will our own truth creating what we want but sometimes the energies are there so for those of you that want to have this life-changing event because you know this is the, i think you're going to go into the month thinking there's a little decision that you have to make and i say little it's little in comparison to these changes that are coming up here these are huge these are massive changes so if you want this is the month i kind of feel like pisces that you could change your life you could change your life. The energies are present there for you to be able to do that. And this is like, speak the language of love, right? This is, I think this is to this person. Because the king of swords, yeah, he talks a good game. He he knows everything. He's that know-it-all. You know, he's that Aquarius energy. Very intelligent, can articulate anything. Doesn't stop talking. Like, you know, he'll, he'll talk your head off if you let him. But he's detaches from his emotions so you know where have you, have you been detaching from your emotions is there someone that you're dealing with who hasn't been speaking the language of love that kind of feels like that could be changed with the tower coming up there 